For my final project, I chose to write about Kelly Wurstler. I thought she was very interesting. She's an American designer. I really loved that her design style was very different from my own. And so I just wanted to learn more about her. She is an American designer. She was born November 21st, 1967 in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Her father was an engineer and her mother was an antique dealer. And she learned to love design from going with her mother and her sister to antique shows and auctions. Um, she also picked up a love for fashion as well. And she attended college at Massachusetts College of Art in Boston, where she got her bachelor's degree in interior graphic design. After graduating college, she moved to Los Angeles, where she got her foot in the door by in interning at design firms. And she thought for a brief moment that she would work as a set decorator in the film industry. But after working on a few film sets, realized that that was not for her and that was not where her heart was. A uh, fun fact I found out about her was that she posed in Playboy in 1994, and she was actually Playmate of the Month in September 1994. Um, but she posed in Playboy, and um, that brief time there able, gave her the ability to pay off her student loans and then jumpstart her career by funding, uh, opening her design firm. She opened her design firm, Kelly Wurstler Interior Design, in the mid-1990s, and originally started off working in residential properties. She was introduced to her now husband, Brad Corzin, who was a real estate developer, and he had her uh, design his Hollywood home and then later the Avalon Beverly Hills Hotel. From word of mouth and through her contacts, she was also contracted to design the Viceroy, Viceroy Hotels. From there, she worked a lot in hotels and actually became the A-list designer to the stars. So she has worked with a lot of celebrities from Cameron Diaz, Elton John, Christina Aguilera, Gwen Stefani, Cher, and many, many more on their, on their homes. And she, she was a judge on Bravo's top design reality TV show from 2007 to 2008. She, throughout her career, has written five books, including LA bestseller, or LA Times bestseller, Modern Glamour, The Art of an Unexpected Style. And she also has made a lifestyle brand, which features exclusive pieces sold in boutiques and department stores around the world. She has worked with some of the industry's most top respected global brands, including Bergdorf Goodman, The Rug Company, Lee Jofa, Picard, and Paperless Post for various different things. And she has been influenced by a lot of different designers, but especially Dorothy Draper, which is another American designer who, who worked very strongly with the bold colors and patterns that Kelly Wurstler works with. Um, she was big into stripes. She combined a lot of different eras and time periods, and she was known for making the high end accessible to the modern family. Uh, Kelly Wurstler also draws influence from Charles Runny McIntosh, Joseph Hoffman, and Ator Satsis, who are all interior designers, decorators, and uh, Pierre Cardin is actually a fashion designer. And so um, she has pulled a lot of different aspects of art from that. She also uh, really coined the term maximalism. You know, the styles that are in style right now are very minimalist. We, we choose toned down colors and not a lot of, you know, excitement where maximalism is the complete opposite of that. It's contrast, it's bold colors and patterns, bigger is better and it's unexpected at every turn. Um, and so Kelly Wurstler really, really focuses on mixing and matching designs from different eras as well as Dorothy Draper did. She really likes the juxtaposition between new and old styles. And she also uses design icebreakers is what she calls them where you know, there's a focal point in the room that draws attention and can be, you know, a talking point. But basically, maximalism is an all-encompassing style. And Kelly Wurstler has described her style as romantic and storytelling. She really likes that design can tell a story at every turn. Every piece in every room has a purpose. And um, I really liked that about her style. So like I said, her style is not very much like anything that I would put in my own home, but I really enjoyed it. I like that she has 
even only at 53 years old, created a huge empire of luxury hotels and made a name for herself. And she is still to this day, you know, carving out her path and, and making a name for herself. So I really appreciated that. And I loved learning more about her. So I definitely think learning more about different things and different styles can help me as an interior designer in the future to challenge myself and get outside the box.